Hello, welcome to my Ford Look video. Parliament's returned on Monday after the half-term recess and we've got a busy week ahead of us. On Monday we are looking at the funding settlements for both the police to fund the additional 20,000 um, officers that uh, the government promised at the election uh, together with the allocations for local government and to make sure that our local councils are getting sufficient money for local services. We've got on Tuesday questions to the uh, justice section. I've got a question down about uh, the terms of my private members bill which will give powers to coroners to investigate stillbirths uh, which they haven't had up to now and I want to make sure that that legislation comes into effect as soon as possible. Uh, we've got uh, debates from the Labour Party on tax avoidance and evasion and on social care, which is a key issue both in terms of adult social care and children's social care, which I shall try and take part in. And then on Wednesday, the uh, long-awaited Environment Bill, a very comprehensive Environment Bill. A lot of people have written to me uh, about this. This is a fantastic piece of legislation and there's a lot more we can do to make it even more um, effective to be doing a lot more for uh, climate change measures and everything I know uh, many people in the constituency agree is very important on the environment. We've also got debates around school exclusions, which is a subject I'm very concerned about, and um, energy efficiency measures in buildings to help towards the net zero um, target. Um, I've also got a series of uh, meetings outside the debating chamber uh, this week. Uh, there's a meeting around children being lost to suicide, which is a particularly mo emotive um, issue and particularly linked to social um, media, and I'm going to get involved in uh, that. Uh, we've got a launch of a new group called Tories for Climate um, Action, and I've got a meeting with the Children's Commission later this week, and other meetings around children's social care, and a, a meeting with the charity Safe Passage around uh, ch unaccompanied child asylum uh, seekers, so I've worked with particularly around Syrian refugees um, before. Um, there's no further updates on coronavirus, I'm glad to say, although the numbers nationally have gone up from 9 to 13 because of uh, the repatriation of certain British citizens from the cruise ship who developed the uh, virus. There have been no further cases um, uh, locally, and those people connected with Worthing Hospital who self-isolated uh, should be through their um, two-week quarantine later on uh, this week. So fingers crossed it's been contained. I think Worthing Hospital should be congratulated on the fantastic job it's uh, done with reduced staff over the last couple of, uh, of weeks. Um, there's also, you may have seen in the news, there's been an arrest by the counter-terrorism uh, police of a man in uh, Worthing. Um, there's few additional details available at this stage, understandably, and I have spoken to the local police uh, commander for a briefing. There's no reason to be uh, at all concerned about that, and it's good news that the police are proactively doing their job to make sure that uh, terrorists, potential terrorists, are not causing us harm locally and um, nationally. I've got a busy um, uh, Friday ahead of me. I shall be talking to some of the pupils at Vale School in Finden uh, Valley. I've then organised what I'm calling an infrastructure summit. I've got about 40 different people from the local councils, from utility companies, from um, developers uh, and others to see if we can improve the way we're dealing with infrastructure locally and particularly the impact that it's having on traffic on roads and all these new developments in and around uh, Shoreham. That's being held at Shoreham Harbour. And I'll do a fuller write-up of, uh, of that because there have been a lot of complaints recently about the impact on traffic that some of the road repairs have been having and we're going to be seeing more of that in the future. We need to make sure we minimise impact on local people. After that I'm going to be joining a few other West Sussex MPs uh, on a farm in Lansing for a meeting with the NFU to talk about changes to uh, agriculture post the common um, agricultural policy and then I'll have one of my surgeries, scheduled surgeries in Worthing later on Friday. If you want an appointment please ring the office in Shoreham. So a busy week ahead.